Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In our last video we covered the Type 2 control because the JTAC needed to hold weapons release authority for each attack. Today we're going to be covering the Type 3 and the Type 3 is whether the aircraft does 1, 2, 17 or a thousand deliveries they're only going to get one cleared hot and in this case it's going to be not cleared hot but a cleared to engage. The reason for this is to set up the scenario really quick is we've got a blowtorch, a couple CH-47s coming in to pick up a Special Operations Forces team and uh, overhead we've got an MQ-9 Reaper just for the command element you know they're keeping tabs on us and we've got our friendlies that you're seeing right now they're uh, co-located 1700 meters southeast of the target location what we're looking to do with this type 3 is to achieve uh, the A-10, HOG-6-3 in this case, is going to be delivering fires just prior to those Chinooks entering the moment of vulnerability, which is the exfiltration or the extraction of the Special Operations Forces troops. So listen in, it's going to be uh, quick and simple at the very beginning, and then after that it's just a lot of just uh, DCS porn. Cheers. HOG-6-3, uh, this is backhand 3-0 on fires, radio check. Hog 6-3 reads you 5x5. Five five. Hog backhand reads you same. Quick routing and safety of flight. Just be advised, uh, air player MQ-9 at 15,000. He's going to stay above, stay below 14,000. And in the weeds is going to be blowtorch, two by CH-47s, along with a pair of uh, OH-58s, call sign long knife. They're going to stay co-located. Uh, whether the uh, black smoke, we're going to show you in a moment. I want you to stay north of the smoke at all times until uh, the extraction. Uh, call when ready, copy, uh, game plan 9 line. Send it for hug. Backhand's going to be looking for weapons effects just prior to uh, Chinook touchdown and uh, minimize their uh, period of vulnerability. It's uh, going to be a type 3 control bomb on target weapons at your discretion. Going to be looking for 5 minutes suppression and or until I call extract or, and uh, exfil complete. 9 line as follows, Bravo 5. Elevation 3400, enemy camp with two by MBTs, soft skin vehicles, towers, and dismounts. 37 Sierra, Bravo uniform, 341139. It's marked by large black smoke, only one that we can see in the area. Southeast, 1700, egress north, read back, 4 and 6 when able. Yeah, Hogs got uh, 3400 along with uh, 37 Sierra, Bravo uniform, 341. 139. Uh, just be advised, we've got uh, black smoke in sight on uh, sensors. Uh, backhand copies, along with the uh, restrictions, looking for east to west to pass, uh, passes only. All effects spring to the uh, west. No fires 1,000 meters from the southern tip of the village. Call right and ready talk on. Hot copies, east to, west, east to west passes only. All effects are going to spray to the west. We're going to be uh, off north on uh, these passes. No fires outside of 1,000 meters from the southern tip of the village. And uh, in my sensors, I've got the black smoke. Immediately north of the black smoke, you're looking for two uh, T-55 main battle tanks. And immediately north of there is your target array. It's the village. Uh, Hog 60 is uh, captured. And Hog, you're clear to engage. Hog 6-3, commencing engagement. Call signs. Be advised, we've got a hot LZ. All call signs from blowtorch. Wheels down at Eagles.
Pull up, pull up. Hog from blowtorch. Wheels up, wheels up. Copies all. Engagement complete. Daisy chain. Daisy chain. And there you have it. The Type 3 control. In this scenario, the JTAC could not visually acquire the target, but he had enough situational awareness of the target area. He could give some uh, good safe parameters for the aircraft to operate in while he was heads down, you know, de graded situational awareness because of getting on board a Chinook helicopter and uh, this was one of those uh, areas where a type 3 control really works and uh, so in future videos I hope to bring in type 3s while you're coordinating other attacks with type 1s or type 2s when you're really busy and a forward air controller airborne. Until next time and whenever that video happens it's going to be uh, kill everything with everything simultaneously. Take care.